Okay, so for 5.6, unit 5.6, it's talking about errands, different things you need to do. And so um, there's actually a handful of vocabulary. Some is review and some is new. So we'll go through that first. Okay, we have, do you mind? This is review, do you mind or I don't mind. Refuse, thumb into the back, past, refuse. Oh, I refuse, I'm not gonna do that, refuse. Tomorrow, thumb goes into the future, palm towards your face, tomorrow. And yesterday, into the back, or yesterday, tomorrow. Um, post office is just P-O, post office. The medicine store, we know medicine, and store medicine right on your palm and then store the vet is finger spelled vet the video store which we don't have many anymore is finger spelled store right or movie maybe you could do that movie um oh, i was gonna say store but store you can sign it but you'll most often see video store. Um, we have dry cleaners. So dry, right across the face, dry, clean. Maybe you have to drop off, drop off. So I'm going to go drop off. School, that's review, school. Dentist, X hand shape on tap on the side of your face by your teeth, dentist. And then teeth goes all the way across, teeth. So maybe you, why? To get your teeth clean. Um, we have gas station, it taps gas station, or to put gas in the car. To put gas in is one solid motion. And then to fill it up, to fill it up. Zoo. Maybe you need to go to the zoo and you're going to feed the animals. Animals, feed. Um, throw away a box. Identify the box first, the four sides box, and then you're going to throw it away. Throw it away. To find medicine is F hand shape, right? To find the medicine. I need to find the medicine. To rent a movie, finger spell, rent, and then movie. Drop off your clothes at the dry cleaners. You'll identify, I think we just went over this one, um, dry cleaners, and then clothes, identify it's clothes you're gonna drop off. The gloss is to find your son, but in English we would voice to pick up your son. So maybe you're gonna go to the school and pick up your son. Pick up, F hand shape, pick up your son. To take your dog to the vet. So you would identify the dog first, the dog, and then you're going to take him, and then where are we gonna take him? To the vet, his finger spelled, vet. Um, if you are signing a WH question word as a rhetorical question, meaning you're gonna answer it, then your eyebrows are opposite. So I'm not saying where are we taking it. I'm not asking you. I'm just saying you want to know where? The vet. I'm going to tell you where. So it's different for our eyebrows. Um, to help a friend pack and move. So dominant hand. To help. Maybe your friend is there. Identify you're going to help them pack, smash those, and move. So to help. This is a directional sign or an agreement verb in the direction of who you're helping. Your friend there. I'm going to help. Or maybe... My friend's gonna help me, okay? Pack, smash those, and move. We have haircut, getting a haircut. And then you must, and sometimes they'll sign D-O, you must do. So that's gonna look kind of funny in a dialogue because it's quick, must do. Don't be confused with that. And then um, they're gonna use, So okay, so this is a little bit more sentence structure here. 
When you list items that you do as far as task, you're gonna use the finish sign in between each one, meaning you're done with that item or task and you're moving on to the next. And we usually shift during that. So maybe you're gonna say, tomorrow I need to go to the vet. And then I would voice, cause I signed finish and then I'm gonna shift. Then I'm gonna go to the dry cleaners and drop off my clothes. And then I'm gonna go home and relax. So when you sign it, you'll have the finish sign in between each task as you're moving. It lets you know you're done with that and you're moving on to something else. So usually the English word I voice for that is and then or then, okay? Um, don't forget OIC, like, oh, I got it, I'm tracking. And then they're gonna use, this is review, wow. Impressed, but wow. So like a shock motion, right? Sometimes the hand is closed, sometimes it's open. Wow. And then this is new. You have your feeling hand shapes and it goes towards the person that you're talking about. And this, the gloss is pity you, but I would voice like poor thing or oh, sorry, poor thing right? Or have pity on me, towards me. So this one's directional too. Sorry, poor thing. <clears throat> and I believe that's it. Um, so don't forget refuse. Don't forget need to do. Okay, that's it.